بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ویلکم یو بیک ان مائی لیکچر آف یو نمبر ٹو دا سلور لائننگ بائی ڈاکٹر چمن ناہ پارٹ ٹو بٹ بفور وی اسٹارٹ دا ریڈنگ آف آر اسٹوری لیٹس ہیو اے ویری کوئک ری کیپ آف آر پریویس لیکچر ان آر پریویس لیکچر آئی ٹولڈ یو اباؤٹ دا آتھر آف دس اسٹوری ڈاکٹر چمن ناہ title of the story was also discussed i give you a brief introduction of the characters of our story mr rahat mrs ahar their little daughter mahin and the narrator of our story mr nadeem well our story began when the narrator came to stay in a guest house in a hill resort which one of his friend had warmly recommended the guest house had all the good qualities He was impressed by the good behavior of his hosts. He came to know the problem about Mahin's disability while he was staying there. Okay, let's start the reading of our story. I cast and muttered something about being sorry. I became confused and did not know what more to say. for i was feeling ashamed at my forwardness with a child who was obviously not in a position to respond to my approaches of friendship i vaguely felt i had wronged her and her parents well before i explain this paragraph let's uh, look at the difficult words and their meanings gasp it means to catch one's breath with open mouth in astonishment muttered expressing dissatisfaction forwardness it means boldness or overconfidence approaches attitude or you can say to come near vaguely in an uncertain way wronged her it means to treat someone unfairly well in this paragraph when the narrator mr nadeem who is a visitor of the guest house came to know about the disability of mahin mahin who is a girl of 8 years and she is the daughter of mr and mrs ahar he got shocked and speechless he felt sorry for trying to be friendly with the child who was not in the position to understand him it did not take me long to see that this was a situation the poor parents had to put up with almost daily for every day one or two guests left and new ones came along and at the very first meeting or soon afterwards they would run into the child be fascinated by her charm and beauty and want to talk to her to pat her and so on and every time it would result in the child silently smiling sighing and withdrawing leaving looks of agony on the faces of her parents often it would lead to lengthy explanations as to how the calamity had come about for many of the inquisitive visitors like to know if it was from birth or the result of an accident whether anyone else in the family suffered from a similar disability and if any treatment was being given let's have a look on difficult words and their meanings first one is a phrasal verb run into it means to meet someone unexpectedly fascinated it means captivated spellbound withdraw retreating calamity a disaster or a tragedy inquisitive someone is inquisitive when he or she is curious or interested okay the last one is left is okay yeah is agony it means pain and distress 
Well, in this paragraph, we came to know that Mr. Nadim he very quickly realized that Mahin and her parents had to face such situation almost every day because the child was so cute and all new guests would attract to her and want to talk to her. But because Mahin was not in the position to understand them, she would react strangely. And by looking at her strange behavior, the guests would start asking questions about her from Mr. and Mrs. Ahad. The queries were answered by the parents haltingly and with obvious anguish. What struck me as the worst part of the situation was that the girl would be often gravely looking on, her eyes aghast with horror and self-pity, aware that she was the topic of discussion. She had no other pastime than to run around the house or play with the servant. She did not go to school as there was none there to cater for her needs. First difficult word is queries. It means questions, inquiries. Haltingly, nervously, obvious anguish, clear pain. Gravely, grimly, seriously, aghast, horrified, shocked. Self-pity, it means excessive unhappiness over one's own troubles. Pastime, pastime means activity or hobby. Cattle, it means to serve or to look after. Well, in this paragraph, we came to know that, as we read in the previous paragraph, that the guests used to ask many questions about Mahi. But to answer those questions was very painful for Mr. and Mrs. Ahad. This whole situation had affected Mahi badly, as she could feel other sympathetic eyes on her while she was playing in the guest house. She didn't go to school because there was no school for the children who were deaf and dumb. They had tried to teach her at home, but without success. She could only hear faintly without feeling much when one shouted close to her ears. And she could speak nothing except utter animal-like cries of happiness and sorrow or say crudely such words as mama or uncle. All her other communications were confined to gestures with her hands, which brought a fleeting sensation of torture to her whole being when one failed to follow what she was saying. All right, the very first word that I have highlighted is faintly, slightly, crudely, inaccurately, confined, it means restricted, fleeting sensation, momentary or short-lived feeling. These students, because Mahin did not go to school, so her parents were trying to teach her at home, but they were not very successful in it. When someone shouted loudly near to her ears, only then she could hear weak sound. She was not able to speak but showed her happiness and sorrow by making animal-like cries. She could only say mama or uncle but with great difficulty. Mahin usually used her hands to convey her messages to others and felt extremely disappointed when someone was not able to understand her. To save the child from such repeated humiliation, 
one day i suggested something to the ahads which the parents after some trepidation agreed to try we decided to have bits of paper typed and to hand over one of these jets duly sealed in a cover to every new visitor as soon as he entered the guest house the text of the chit ran our daughter is deaf and dumb you may hurt her by trying to be friendly too soon as she can neither understand nor reply to your kind words you are requested to please give her time to approach you and make your acquaintance thank you humiliation it means insult trepidation alarm duly sealed properly closed acquaintance familiarity or contact mr nadeem the narrator of this story was watching the whole situation of mahin and her parents closely so he made a plan to help her mr and mrs ahad had some reservations but except the plan otherwise they wrote a note on the small sheets of paper and put them in an envelope like covers and gave to every new visitor of the guest house they wrote mahin's problem on those sheets and requested every visitor to give her some time to come to them herself and get friendly align to the effect that they might be spared questions about her was removed by mrs ahad on the plea that it would not be compatible with her spirit of hospitality as it was she felt the note was not a very kind one to be given to people who were going to make her guest house their temporary home but she gave consent to save the girl untold misery and helplessness she experienced every time a stranger approached her plea it means a request made in an urgent and emotional manner compatible suited to in accord with untold misery great unhappiness or distress there was a line in the note for the visitors that they should not ask questions about mahi from her parents but mrs ahad asked to remove this line as she felt it was not a good thing to say to their guests otherwise she agreed to this plan only to save her daughter from that painful experience that mahi faced whenever a new person tried to be friendly with her the ruse worked well even beyond our expectations though a few sympathetic questions were still put to the parents the poor child was spared later the girl herself slowly became intimate with many of the guests the ahas felt relieved and thought that at least one of their problems was temporarily solved ruse it means an action intended to deceive intimate close relieved no longer feeling distressed glad sympathetic friendly someone who shows care and concern their plan got very successful now visitors did not go to mahin at once they saw her but gave her time to come to them herself but they still asked some questions from the parents uh, even then mr and mrs ahad were quite happy and relaxed because one of their problem was solved but 
they had a strange visitor one day hmm dear students our story has taken a new turn to know what will happen next you will have to wait for the next lecture till then read these paragraphs and learn the meanings of all the words and phrases some of the words from this list you will be using the sentences of your own till then take care and allah hafiz